Hey digital learners, Rahul here from learndigitalwithrahul.com and welcome back to another episode. This video is a repurposed form of an episode from Digital Marketing Made Easy podcast. You can listen to this episode on Apple Podcast, earlier known as iTunes, and also on Spotify and many other platforms, including Google Podcast. So without any further delay, enjoy listening to this episode. You have got a message. You need marketing to get it delivered to your ideal audience, leads, customers, or whatever you call it. You have got a product. You need marketing. You have got a service. You need marketing. Even if you are non-profit and doing it for charity, you need marketing. But since traditional marketing is becoming less effective now, therefore people are shifting their focus to digital marketing. which by the way is simply the marketing delivered through digital channels like Google, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, even TikTok. Whatever you can think of. No doubt there are multiple forms of digital marketing which we will discuss in this episode. But the big question is which form of digital marketing should you prefer and why? You will find it out in this episode. Hey digital learners I am Rahul from learndigitalwithrahul.com and welcome back to another episode of Digital Marketing Made Easy podcast. In the last episode, we discussed what is digital marketing. In case you missed that, let me recap here. Digital marketing can be defined as the marketing of products or services delivered through digital platforms like websites, social media, email, search engines, mobile applications or any new digital channel. Well, that's my way of defining it. But different people have a different opinion and their way of defining and categorizing digital marketing. And as you know, the name of this podcast is Digital Marketing Made Easy. And yes, I like to keep things simple and easy. So I'll first explain the various forms of digital marketing that are popularly known, and then I'll explain how I categorize digital marketing in a simple way so that you don't feel it complex. and finally you will uncover which of the various forms of digital marketing should you choose and why so let's get started digital marketing is basically marketing delivered through digital channels so depending upon the digital channels people categorize it into forms like search marketing social media marketing email marketing influencer marketing affiliate or referral marketing text based marketing and radio or television media marketing so first know what are these Let's start with search marketing. Search marketing is basically marketing delivered through search engines like Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo, etc. When you search for something in Google, Bing or any other search engines, you must have noticed some ads on the search page considering the fact that you don't have an ad blocker enabled on your browser or device. These ads are purchased and shown on Google by a technology called Google AdWords. same for bing and other search engines as well most of the search engines have their own digital advertising platform where people like me and you can purchase ad space to get shown on the top of google search or other internet based properties like blog or website youtube or within any other apps as well digital marketers or brands as the advertiser pay for these ads based on the impression or clicks they get That is why in the complex terms of marketing paid advertising like this is often termed as paid per click or PPC. But search marketing is not limited to paid advertising only. There is organic, non-paid or you may call it free search marketing as well where you don't have to pay for advertising. And that type of search marketing is known as search engine optimization or SEO. SEO is basically optimizing your web page for search engines and people of course so that you get listed higher in search engines and people may find you your website or your business easily in the search engines now here is something you need to pay close attention to when you search something on google or any other search engine google shows you more than 10 results on the first page itself and 97 out of 100 times you will click on one of the top 3 or top 5 search results then land on any web page where you will get solution to your search query and that's not the case with you only the same is true for every other searcher on the internet people usually search in google or other search engines and then find a solution to whatever they are looking for by clicking on one of the top 10 search results on the first page 
So as an SEO, your goal is to optimize your web page for the first page rankings. Otherwise, it will be hard for people to find you or your business. And how do you achieve that first page ranking? It's simply by optimizing your web pages for search engines using various SEO tactics. And once you do that, your website would start getting free traffic organically from search engines. So this is a free form of search marketing in which you don't have to pay for clicks. Let's move on to the second type of digital marketing which is social media marketing. And as the name says it all, social media marketing is basically marketing delivered through social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok, Snapchat and many more. By the way, YouTube and Pinterest are no longer social media only. These two have now become a popular search engine just like Google. Let's not go into details about that right now. But the point I want to convey here is, we have got various social media platforms and whatever marketing is delivered through social media platforms is known as social media marketing. Now just like search engine marketing, you may categorize social media marketing further into two categories. Number one, paid social media marketing which is marketing delivered through paid ads on social media. And number two, free social media marketing which is free marketing delivered through consistent social media updates, be it text, pictures, video, stories, whatever it is. All right, now moving on to the third type of digital marketing, we have email marketing. And this has existed for years and years so long that you may put it into traditional form of marketing. In fact, email has existed even before Google was founded in 1998. But unlike other traditional forms of marketing, email is still a very effective form of marketing. So what is email marketing? Email marketing is basically marketing delivered through the exchange of emails between the brands or business and consumer. If you visit learndigitalwithrahul.com right now, you will see some email subscription box where I ask for your name and email in exchange for tutorials, training, downloads or simply free newsletter. Well, it's not just on my blog only. Almost every other website or blog does the same to collect emails of their leads, customers or consumers. When you enter the email, you give the website owner permission to contact you via email. And now the webmaster may educate, entertain and market or sell their products or services by communicating with you via the means of email. This entire process is the way email marketing works and the marketing delivered through email is email marketing. And just like every other type of digital marketing, email marketing also may be categorized into two types. Number one, free email marketing which I discussed just now and number two, paid email marketing which is paid form of email marketing like solo ads which basically is advertising space purchased in someone else's email newsletter. Alright, now let's talk about the fourth type of digital marketing which is influencer marketing. Influencer marketing is basically digital marketing delivered by influencers using their digital influence. But you must be wondering what the heck this influencer term is, right? Well, anyone who has an influence over others is an influencer. You must have seen those celebs or popular people on the internet with a huge number of fans following. Those people are known as influencers. Every industry has different influencers and in order to consider someone as influencer, the number of fan following may vary depending upon the industry. So how does influencer marketing work? You find an influencer in your industry or niche. You convince them to promote your stuff either by providing value to them, making good friendship with them by constantly getting on their mind or by directly paying them. For example, if you are a brand creating tech gadgets, you may find some YouTube influencers who post unboxing and review videos. Then offer them value by simply giving away free review units of your gadget. And in return, request them to promote your gadget on their YouTube channel. Once you convince them to talk about your product, they can bring a huge chunk of traffic and sales for you. Whether you provide value, get on their mind or simply pay them to promote your stuff. Whichever the way you use, your goal is to convince them because the influencers can boost your marketing within a very quick time. 
The fifth type of digital marketing that I'm going to share with you is quite similar to influencer marketing. But the only difference is the person who does marketing for you, that person doesn't necessarily have to be an influencer. And we call this affiliate marketing or referral marketing. Affiliate marketing is like a joint venture where you pay a certain percentage of your sales amount to affiliate marketers who promote your product or services. This certain percentage is known as the affiliate commission. Affiliate marketing is one of the most popular forms of marketing where both parties form a win-win relation to helping the cause of each other. The affiliate marketers do marketing for you by promoting your product and referring people to your business while you provide them the product and promotional materials like banners, affiliate tracking links, etc. so that they may earn commissions without having to create products themselves. But unlike other types of marketing, there is no free marketing here. Because if you don't pay your affiliates and ask them to promote your product, then no one will promote it. The only way to get them to promote your product and get referral sales is to offer some commission to incentivize them. Okay, now we are getting toward the last two types of digital marketing and the sixth one is text message marketing. You might have already received some spam text messages on your mobile phone. You call them spam because you didn't opt for them. But what if it is specific to your interest and you opted for it? That's when this spam text messaging turns into an effective digital marketing campaign that gets results. So the point here is text message marketing is not a new thing. But surprisingly, many people are still not using this. Although people have found a digital marketing channel named Chatbot, which is very similar and resonates with text message marketing to a great extent. However, the only difference is Messenger Chatbot marketing is not limited to text only. Okay, so the last type of digital marketing is radio or television media marketing. And as soon as you heard the term radio, you might be thinking, Rahul, have you gone mad? Radio and television are so traditional. How can you put them into the digital marketing category? Well, when I say radio, the first few pictures that come to my mind are the Spotify logo, Apple podcast logo, and Google podcast logo. Because these are the new radio. And Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime are the new prime time television. Now, don't get me wrong here. The point I want to make here is, if your ideal customer are listening to Spotify, you need to market there. If your ideal customer is watching television, you need to market there. So don't get surprised when the next time you are tuning into your prime time show or radio station and someone interrupted with an infomercial like, hey, before you tune into your favorite show, make sure you learn important digital marketing lessons and not just waste time on your phone. Search for Learn Digital with Rahul on Apple Podcast or Spotify and subscribe to Digital Marketing Made Easy Podcast as that way you won't miss any crucial lesson. Well, this wasn't the best infomercial, but you got the idea, right? All right, so now we have learned the various types of digital marketing and you might be feeling overwhelmed with all this information, right? So let's make it simple and easy. Next time when someone asks you what are the different forms of digital marketing, you respond with something like this. There are only three forms of digital marketing. Number one, readable form of marketing, something that people may read. Number two, visual form of marketing, something that people may watch or visualize. And number three, audible form of marketing, something that people may listen to, like this podcast you are currently listening to. Now go back to all the types of digital marketing you ever learned or even I discussed in this episode. What you will notice is, whatever digital marketing strategies you choose, each of them will fall under one of these three categories. Because any digital marketing campaign may either be text-based, visual or audible. There is simply no other way. So now you have learned the various types of marketing that are popularly known and used. You have also learned how I make it simple by categorizing into just three forms of digital marketing. Now it's time to find the answer to the question, which of these digital marketing strategies is right for you and which one should you choose? So my answer would be, no one knows it better than you. If you are good at writing text-based content, go for text-based marketing. If you love creating visuals like images, videos, GIFs, etc. 
then go for visual form of marketing. If you are good at speaking, go for audible form of marketing. If you have money to invest, go for paid marketing. If you don't have money to invest, go for free or organic form of marketing. The point here is always play to your strength. That way it will be easier for you to stay consistent in the long run. And as the saying goes, slow and steady win the race. However, the only terms or conditions is that you have to be consistent. I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode. You may find more information including the transcript and all other resources in the show notes below. The show notes for this episode which happens to be the fourth episode of Digital Marketing Made Easy podcast can also be found on learndigitalwithrahul.com forward slash 004. And hey, if you enjoyed listening to this episode or you found any value out of this, be sure to leave a review with 5 star ratings on iTunes. It would mean a world for me. And by the way, when you do that, please take a screenshot and post it on Instagram tagging me at the rate learn digital with Rahul. I would love to reshare it and feature you on my profile. With that being said, I am Rahul signing off and I'll talk to you in the next one. Until then, stay motivated, stay creative and feel proud to be hashtag digital learner. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want more such online marketing lessons, be sure to subscribe to Digital Marketing Made Easy Podcast on Apple Podcast, Spotify, Google Podcast, or any other platform of your preference. You may also simply subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.